Hey guys, what's up? This is Danish. I'm back again with my Q&A answers. Man, you guys are insane. That was over 200 questions. It was ridiculous. Now, what I broke it down to was about 15 questions. This isn't going to be all the questions answered. Uh, again, this was absolutely insane. I didn't expect to get that much of a response from you guys. But yeah, this should pretty much cover what uh, you guys want to know about me. The first question comes from Hank J. Fari says, Can you send me a picture of your feet? Well, I'm pretty capable of that. I mean, all I gotta do is grab a phone, point it down and snap. Then I gotta send it to you, whether it be by email or something like that. It's pretty easy. H Spider asks, what's your most impressive beatboxing noise you can do in your opinion? Don't matter if it's hard to do or not, but could you put in a quick beat? Probably the most impressive sound that I could do is the water droplet, which is like, now, the, the reason why I call I think it's impressive is because I can actually do it in different ways. I can do it with the normal click, which, you know, you do with your tongue on top. And I can do it with a clop. And I can also do it just vocally. And probably my most favorite beat with that noise is... Usacha asks, what is your favorite sweet? I don't know, I, I, I'd I actually have to think about that. I mean, my favorite, favorite kind of sweets. Um, you know, I'll have to think about that and get back to you. Are you in school at the moment? How old are you? Yes, I'm in college for computer engineering. I'm in my third year and I'm 20 years old. Tree Frosting asks, how many and what amiibos do you have? I got two actually. First one I got when Smash 4 came out, it's this one, it's Pikachu. I named him Depa. Deppa for, uh, I don't know if you guys know, if you ever heard of him, Klonoa, uh, Klonoa 2, Lunatiusville, my one of my favorite PS2 games. Uh, every time you press like R1 with Klonoa, he'd go Deppa Deppa, so I, I named him Deppa. And then I have this one that I got with Mario Party, it's pretty stupid, honestly. Introspective asks, did you play any sports or do any sort of club activities in high school? I played football back in high school. Um, I was uh, safety, and then I got a little bigger and became an outside linebacker. That's uh, definitely how I got into working out was uh, because of football. I also always went to the library and played like chess and checkers. And a lot of times you focus, focus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I always I always went to the library and played Yu-Gi-Oh with my friends, which is pretty pretty dope. That was fun back in the day. I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh because man, it just got super expensive. But now it's just trash. What happened to Yu-Gi-Oh? Who's your melee brawl in 64 main? My 64 main as of now is Captain Falcon. My brawl main is Snake, and my melee main is Marth. All right, so Mr. Rito asks. Yes, actually, a few questions, which I'm going to answer all of them because these are a lot of the similar ones that you guys were asking. He asks, which Smash Bros. did you start playing on? So I played on the 64, Nintendo 64. Um, this was way back in the day. Um, and a lot of people asked, uh, how, did I, how did I get into Smash or how did I start playing Smash? So pretty much it started out like a lot of uh, people my age, you know, in the 90s, how, you know, they got into Smash. Pretty much... I went to a place, uh, I don't know, it's definitely not around anymore, Hollywood Video. They might have like one or two or something. Hollywood Video was a place where you rent uh, those those cassettes, big cassettes, movie cassettes. Um, and they had, they had a shelf, a random shelf with games, right? I never went to those shelves, but I was just like, I was in the store and almost like returning movies or renting movies or whatever. I saw this little box with Pikachu Link and, Sam, and, a, and a robot character I never heard of, like Samus. At the time, I literally thought Samus was a dude. But yeah, this little this this box right here with with Super Smash. It was Super Smash Bros. 64, and it was twenty dollars. And I don't know exactly. How, oh, and I had Mario on it too. I don't know how I actually bought that game or how I told my mom that I wanted that game. I think I was just looking at it, and my mom saw me looking at it, and she just picked it up. If I remember correctly, <laughs> let me let me go ahead and see if I have it. Yep, there it is the old school Super Smash Bros. 64. This thing is a legend. It is so old, it still works. I still have my Nintendo 64 and five Nintendo 64 controllers. It was me, three of my friends. Uh, well, two at first uh, became three a little later, and we're, we've been friends for like I think ten, like 
I don't even know, like 15 years? It's been, a, it's been a really long time we've been friends, but we're still playing Smash. We're still playing Smash 4. Even back in the day, um, I was that dude in the group who was always the best at the video games. Funny fact is, I used Ness when I was on 64 the most because uh, you didn't have to Z cancel when Ness is there. So I would just dare them all day <laughs> because the, they, they wouldn't tech and so I would just dare, 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 dare forward smash or up smash or something because you didn't have to Z cancel the dare. Um, and, then, and then, you know, like when, when Melee came out, I never actually got a GameCube. I never had a GameCube. Didn't have a GameCube. Um, I played 64 while, the, while Melee was out, but I do remember going to a birthday party. Having not played Melee at, at all once in my life, I bodied everyone <laughs> just because of how good I was at 64. Um, and then when Brawl came out, I remember uh, I was that was that was pretty much the peak of my uh, my of my you know Smash gameplay of how good I was. I didn't get into competitive Brawl until way too late when there was you know such a big gap between what what competitive Smash is supposed to be you know like between Melee and Brawl the the versus the competition or whatever. Well, pretty much I used I used random i've used random a lot i used pretty much every character in the game to the best of their ability if anything i never truly learned how to chain grab with ice climbers which I mean, it's not too big of a deal i mean nobody really wants to get chain grabbed in that game but uh pretty much yeah i used random i've used every character i think i was i was pretty good and i was really really good at the end of my at, at when Sm before smash 4 came out i was really good at bro I he also asks what are some of your other favorite games so probably my other favorite games um in terms of multiplayer games you know i play a lot of gta with my friends at night um gta 5 in particular online um we used to play mario kart wii a lot online back in the day because that was the best that was actually super it was pretty it was pretty technical mario kart wii u is pretty good but i i don't enjoy it as much i don't know i, I don't know why i don't enjoy it that much but i definitely like mario kart wii better than all of them and then uh, we, I still have my Wii. It's still hacked. We still we still play random games on there, like Mario Party 5 or something on GameCube, like the GameCube version of, of Wii or Mario Party 8 even. And then uh, my favorite, my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna let me let me let me get specific. In, in terms of PS2 games, my favorite games are Klonoa 2, Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, uh, whatever. Any Kingdom Hearts. I love Kingdom Hearts. It's amazing. Final Fantasy, uh, probably the 13 series the most because it's it's just so pretty to me. Um, it's not even in terms of the gameplay; it's just so pretty to me. I played the first Final Fantasy, so you know you know that I'm not I'm not even like like straight bias. I love Final Fantasy one. I, I played that so much. I killed that game. Yeah, I played all the Kingdom Hearts games, um, and then Dark Cloud one and Dark Cloud two. They were amazing. I love Dark Cloud. I don't know if you guys have ever played it. Probably not a lot of people played it. It came out on PS4 recently. I ported over to PS4. Dark Cloud one, Dark Cloud two, both amazing. Dark Cloud two especially. Um, in terms of PS3 games, you know, you know what? Like even just the HD collections. I like Ratchet and Clank. I like Jack and Baxter. I like Crash Bandicoot. Um, Spyro, they were all amazing. I, but if I had to choose like my favorite, it would probably be Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is just amazing. And then in terms of like, in terms of games that I, I don't think any like any game is better than those games, I'd probably say games like Skyrim, uh, Fallout 4, you know, Bethesda games. Um, but okay, okay. You know what? I'm, I'm going everywhere. My favorite games are definitely Skyrim and Kingdom Hearts. Those two. I don't think I've ever had more fun playing any other game in the world. Those two games are the best. But in terms of multiplayer, that's just a different story. What else uh, What else do you do for a living besides upload YouTube videos? I actually don't even make a living off of YouTube videos. I make almost nothing. I think I make like 50 bucks off of YouTube videos and that's like every two months. I don't join, I'm not even in a network. I just do it as a hobby. I go to college. Um, I'm a technician. I uh, Fix computers, uh, gaming consoles, tablets, all that good stuff. I repair them. Um, that's what I pretty much do for a living. I work at a small shop, but I don't make a living off of YouTube videos at all. The Dandy guy asks, is there any character that you think is underrated? Is there any that are overrated? All right, so I'm gonna start with the overrated. I would say Fox is overrated. Um, you could do some cool stuff with Fox, but at the end of the day, I just think his offstage game is so bad. Yeah, I just think, I just think Fox has a lot of bad matchups. 
That's that's I, that's that's all I can really think of off the top of my head. I don't think any character is way too overrated. Underrated though, that's a different story. Uh, Samus obviously is underrated. Um, I mean, she does lack the things a lot of the top tier characters do have, but that doesn't mean she's just the worst character in the game. Um, I think that she, definitely Samus is one of one of the most underrated. Jigglypuff is underrated, although she does belong on the bottom of the tier list. I'm not gonna lie to you. She's not bad. Okay, the tier list gaps are very, very, very small. But someone has to be on the bottom, and the, one of the most, one of the most uh, likely to be on the bottom is Jigglypuff, and of course Zelda, Ganondorf, all those people. Um, but that, I mean that isn't to say that they're just bad and they're not viable. That just means that they that if you had to put them on the list, they would they would count and they would be on the bottom. Anti Frost asks, here's my question: If you had to go up against the Lord of All Evils, Wrongdoings, and General Mischief tomorrow, what would be your weapon of choice? Hmm. I mean, when I mean, you gotta you gotta give me like like a, a list or something. I mean, I don't know, like a Death Note or something. I don't know. You gotta be a list. I can't really think about it. I mean, because I could choose something super OP. I could I could pretty much choose an item that makes me a god or something, and I'd I'd, I'd body everybody. Why are you so based? How did you come up with the name, Mr. Danish Butter Cookie? Alright, so the way I came up with this name, my name is actually Danish. Um, back in the day, people called me Danish Pastry or Danish the Cookie. The reason why Danish Cookies, there's actually a tin can called Danish Butter Cookies. And pretty much I name everything after Danish Butter Cookie or Danish Butter Cookies. The Mr. was just there because Danish Butter Cookies or, or Danish Butter Cookie I think was already taken. So I just put a Mr. in front of it. I think I put Sir at one time, but it was already taken, but whatever. Um, but Danish itself, because somebody, somebody asked how to get my name or how to get that tag or whatever. Danish, uh, somebody asked what my background was. And uh, basically, I was born here in Texas, but uh, my parents are from Pakistan, so I'm Pakistani. Um, and Danish is in the Quran, and in the Quran, it's translated to intelligence. So that's how I got my name. In the Muslim religion, you know, we name our kids after, uh, we, we name our kids uh, after names in the Quran. So Danish, Danish means intelligence. And that's how I got my name. What is your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is actually Jirachi. I love Jirachi. Jirachi is my favorite Pokemon. It always will be. Um, she the homie. Do you know Yuri Lane, the beatbox harmonica dude? And if so, do you like his, do you like his work? I have no idea what that is. Pretty much in terms of beatboxing, I go all over Swiss Beatbox and Beatbox Television. Those are the two main channels for beatboxing. They're very, very popular channels. If you guys want to actually listen to professional beatboxing, go check them out. Swiss Beatbox and Beatbox TV. Who did you want to win the Smash Ballot out of any possible character? Out of any possible character. That's that's the, that, that's the very specific. Um, I, I might as well tell you guys what my impossible character was. It was Klonoa, the, the character that, like... That Klonoa is owned by Namco, and it's one of my favorite PS2 games. I already mentioned that. Um, I wanted him in there, but it wasn't it wasn't likely. But in terms of possibilities, um, I definitely wanted uh, I definitely wanted my dude Snake or Wolf in there. Which 90s cartoon is better? Do you like Sailor Moon, Doug, SWAT Cats, Gargoyles, Goof Troop, or Freakazoid? Doug. Do -do -do -do. What do you look like with a top hat and a monocle? Otochan asks, what other characters would you like to see in Smash? Any Metroid ones? Sora would be cool. Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Why, when, where did you learn your editing skills? On YouTube, when I started. Where do you place Samus on the tier list? If you if you went from a list from S, A, B, C, D, I would place Samus on low uh, C, or I would place Samus on low C or high B. Alright guys, well that was that was awesome. I'm glad I answered some of your questions. I hope you got to know a little bit about me and my history. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time in the next video. Peace out.